What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the top WWE factions. Let's get right into this. Up first for me is D-Generation X. They debuted in 1997 and stayed together as a faction until the early 2000s. In 2006 to 2007, Triple H and Shawn Michaels brought the D-Generation X gimmick back as a tag team, so it was just the two of them. And then I believe they reunited again as the tag team version from 2009 to 2010, something like that. So not too bad. The original members were Triple H, Shawn Michaels, X-Pac, Billy Gunn, Road Dogg, and China. The championships that they have won as a collection for the time they were in the uh, DX faction was the World Tag Team Championships, the New Age Outlaws, so Billy Gunn and Road Dogg won it a total of five times as part of the D-Generation X faction, and Shawn Michaels and Triple H as DX won it once. The WWE Tag Team Championships, New Age Outlaws won at one time, and Triple H and Shawn Michaels also won at one time. So that's a lot of Tag Team Championships between the group throughout not only the early days, so 97 to 2000, but also whenever the Tag Team Triple H and Shawn Michaels brought the DX gimmick back. And the best part is, they went into the Hall of Fame in 2019, the whole group, which to me was well deserved because they'd done so many iconic things back in the day in the Attitude Era, especially whenever WWE was trying to purchase and beat out WCW at the time. The whole WCW invasion with the tank was epic. Next is going to be Evolution. The members for Evolution were Triple H, Batista, Ric Flair, and Randy Orton. They debuted from 2003 to 2005. They did make a short return in 2014, just it did not include Ric Flair. Of course, Ric Flair was getting up in age at the time. And the only tag team championship they won as part of Evolution was Batista and Ric Flair, and they won it a total of two times. To me, there is no doubt in my mind that they're definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame someday. Ric Flair is already a two-time Hall of Famer. Batista went in earlier this year. Triple H went in as part of D-Generation X. I know Triple H is going to go in on his own someday, but Evolution as a whole, I feel like they're definitely going in the Hall of Fame someday as a faction. Next is going to be from NXT, Undisputed Era. The members are, of course, Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Roderick Strong. They won the NXT Tag Team Championship three times, but Adam Cole has won the NXT Championship, and Adam Cole and Roderick Strong have both held the North American Championship in NXT. And why I'm mentioning that is the group has helped them during those title reigns as well, which I thought was pretty epic. And Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly won the 2018 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. To me, I really hope to see them in the main roster someday as a faction, and I really hope WWE has no plans on splitting them in the future. Next up is going to be the iconic Wyatt Family. The original members were only Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan, and the later members were Braun Strowman, Randy Orton, and Daniel Bryan. They debuted in NXT in 2012. Rowan and Harper won the NXT Tag Team Championships while in NXT, which was epic. They made it to the main roster in 2013. They ended up splitting in 2014, and they returned in 2015 with Braun Strowman. They've had, in my opinion, quite a lengthy run in WWE, not only as a faction, but also Luke Harper and Eric Rowan as a tag team. And they've had a lot of gimmicks along the way and a lot of different situations whenever they included Randy Orton and then whenever they included Daniel Bryan. So they've had a lot of creative and a lot of epic matches. So I definitely see them in the future, at least Bray Wyatt and Rowan, maybe with Braun Strowman, because of course Harper's not in WWE, but maybe the other three reuniting down the line as the Wyatt family, I could see WWE doing that eventually. Next is going to be NWO. The original members were only Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall, but of course, if you guys know the NWO, there was at least 50 names that were included or claims to be included in NWO, but they were only the original members were Hogan, Nash, and Scott Hall. 
They started in WCW and later came to the WWE. They debuted in 1996 and made it until 2001, but continued to make reunions after that as well. In 2020, they were inducted in the Hall of Fame with all three members of NWO, so Hogan, Nash, and Scott Hall, along with X-Pac. X-Pac was included in the induction in the Hall of Fame for NWO. So these were the top WWE factions. I honestly see a lot more factions happening moving forward because other than Undisputed Era and a couple other odd ones here and there, we don't see too many factions, at least factions that try to take over the WWE like we did back in the day. So I'm hoping WWE tries to do something in the future where they have a big faction that tries to take over the most of the WWE. I think that would honestly be epic or at least have an NXT faction that tries to take over the main roster. I think if WWE were to do something like that, the fans would honestly be on board because there's a lot of NXT talent right now that I feel should be included on the main roster. And by doing something like this, I could see that definitely working out for them. So I hope you guys like this video. Please take care. Peace.